I always kind of um, lament sex scenes, especially, you know, those slow motion ones where it kind of starts and there's always that music. And uh, most times, sex is like, it's like riding a horse almost a little bit, but it's still got passion and all of that. It's very, in this movie, it's, it's still at least fantastical because you got like kind of, who I think, you know, beautiful people kind of doing it. Um, uh, but I didn't want it to be this kind of uh, weird, I didn't want it to be that typical kind of looking into each other's eyes, caressing each other's cheeks and doing that whole thing with a, you know, with a cheesy music. When I've watched the film with audiences, I can feel the discomfort, you know, I can feel them go really quiet and it's like, oh geez, they're having this straight up boning in their heads happening. And, <laughs> and that was because of the kind of, the way we decided to frame it. We got all these cool pictures uh, that I showed the, the, the cinematographer, Mattel, uh, uh, you know, it was like cool if we, because it, it always it says that's what's happening with the scenes. The kind of practicality of it for me was that we kind of dealt with it like like geometry. It was like engineering. You know, you put your because it's it's not real love making. The camera has to capture like certain things. Sex scenes in films, I think, are the most unsexy things to shoot. You know, um, yeah, because you have like a you know these people have only met each other like a week or two before this, and it's it's about. You you know, put your hand here, let's, okay, we need to get the camera in there, okay, the light, okay, sound is missing this bit, you know? So it's very, I find it's less daunting because of the, because of that, but it's also very uncomfortable because you've got these people who are not necessarily fully dressed, there's like a room full of people. It's a, uh, yeah, it's a, uh, it's a doozy. It's a smorgasbord of emotions. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's crazy.